Hello, after linear equations, I'm moving on to logarithms. I know logarithm is a new term for those who are not doing any maths for their A-levels. So logarithm is uh, a number which converts the given number into a order of magnitude scale. Order of magnitude scale. Now, just to make it clear, what do I mean by this? order of magnitude so if i have 2.5 times 10 to the power 1 which is the standard form of writing 25 so 25 can be written in the standard form as 2.5 times 10 to the power 1 so here 1 is the order of magnitude So 1 is the order of magnitude. Do you get that? Then, if I go for another number, so let me go for say 250, which in standard form is 2.5 times 10 to the power 2, right? So what will be the order of magnitude there? The order of magnitude is going to be 2. So this is what we mean by order of magnitude. When it is small numbers like this, it is easy to see. But log helps us to compare numbers over very large scales. Okay. Now, how do we do this? If we have 10 to the power 2, we know that 10 to the power 2 is equal to 100. So, what log does is, so log 100 we do log 100, the order of magnitude here is 2, right? So log 100 would give you a 2. Similarly, if you go for 10 to the power 3, which is 1000, and if you take log of 1000, it will give you the answer as 3. So basically, it is giving you the order of magnitude. So this is what log does. The log or the logarithm of a number converts the number to its order of magnitude. Now, how much details do you need here? You don't need that many details. What details you specifically need for your exam? I will let you know when we come to that part. Okay. So we are interested in two types or we are our, our A-level physics specification is interested in two types of log. One is called the common log or common logarithm and the other is called the natural log or natural logarithm. What's the difference between the two? Uh, I'll just state the difference and then I'll come to it. Common log is to the base 10 natural log is to the base e. Now what does this base 10 and base e mean? I will let you know in a couple of minutes. Then how we represent com uh, common logarithm is it's not easy for us to always write a common logarithm. So in your calculator you will see it as log. Sometimes in some questions you will just see it as lg also. Natural log is ln. They are very easy to find in your calculator. In your calculator, if you look, there is a button which says log. That is what you use for common log. And there is another button that says ln. And that is what you use for your natural log. And as I said before, uh, you don't have to worry too much about the detailed maths behind these logs. All you need here is a calculator, a scientific calculator, and a few rules. You already have the scientific calculator with you, and then I will tell you the rules. So I'm going to do, do this in two parts. In the next video, you will see the rules and details regarding common logarithm. And in the third video, we will move on to the natural log.